Max Handpan is a series of Max for Life devices that aim to reproduce an authentic handpan playing experience in Ableton Live. There are three classes of devices. To start, we have the front end. The front end is responsible for taking control of the controller, in this case, an Ableton Push, although other controllers may also be supported. And it's responsible for configuring um, button colors and interpreting buttons and sending them as MIDI data down you know, to other devices. When I play the handpan now, and if I play, for example, just the tone field, then if you look at the MIDI that is output by the device, they are not really notes, but just represent the layout of the handpan. In this case, the tone fields are mapped to C sharp 2 to up to A2. The C2 is for the doom. The front end also supports two kinds of velocity curves. Because different parts of the handpan have different um, sensitivity to um, force, um, the front end supports different velocity curves. For example, if the, the doom is quite sensitive. Whereas if you play at the edge of tone fields for ghost notes, the handpan is much less sensitive. So these velocity curves can be uh, configured independently. The front end also makes sure that when you select a different track, the front end releases control of the handband so that the push can go back to its normal configuration. The next part in the series is the back end. The back end has two responsibilities. First, it uh, allows to configure a particular scale. Of course, a real handband is tuned to a specific scale, but one advantage of a virtual handband is that we can choose. So, for example, we can choose a curve 9, we jazz, play lock, integral, and so forth. Now, one thing you can notice is that the backend shows how much transposition it needs to do in order to achieve the skill you've selected. So, for example, we're currently using a first generation hand drum, which is tuned in play lock um, with a, in A with a doom of F. And so now you can see when we select this very scale, there's no transitioning happening at all. Now we can actually set the doom independently, higher or lower if you want, and we can transpose the scale higher or lower as we want. Now when we select a different scale, of course, um, different nodes will need to be um, uh, transposed differently. So the the less transposition, the closer we stay through to the original samples. The second responsibility to the back end is to take the MIDI data from the front end and translate it into instructions to the instrument that actually produces the sound. Now, one such instrument is this custom Sonic Culture Pan Drum instrument. This uses the Sonic Culture samples, but does not use the original instrument for technical reasons. Instead, this is a custom instrument that we've built as part of Max Handpan. The responsibility of this part of the pipeline, of course, is to take the MIDI data from the backend and actually produce sound. So let me give you a quick demonstration. Max Handpan is still a work in progress, more to come.